matters of COVID-19 because the race to produce a COVID-19 vaccine is visible in every corner of the world. Every country, big or small, wants to be ordained as the healer of a sick globe. Well, every, uh, even some African countries have promoted their traditional medicine as a cure for the virus and with Rossi announcing a conclusion in the development of the vaccine, China and the United States are expected to follow suit. On Friday, the WHO said that people highly at risk will be the first target in the vaccination process. Ibrahim John again has more detail, details of that. The World Health Organization told journalists at a press conference that it will endorse a vaccine only if it is safe to use and that the vaccination of essential workers will be prioritized during the four stages. There is no vaccine for the coronavirus yet. The WHO chief scientist Sumya Swaminathan said an approved vaccine is expected to surface around the second half of 2021. It's a very optimistic uh, scenario because there's a huge field of candidates. And we expect results from some of the candidates which are at, uh, already in phase three trials to come by the end of the year or the beginning of next year following which there will have to be scaling of manufacturing to produce the hundreds of millions of doses that are going to be needed. So realistically speaking, uh, probably the second half, the, the uh, middle of 2021, uh, maybe the second quarter, third quarter of 2021 is when we can start seeing doses actually flowing into countries. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, the WHO Director General, said the usage of the vaccine as a global public good is to the advantage of all countries. He stated that if people in low and middle income nations fail to access the vaccine, then defeating COVID-19 will be impossible and it will continue to negatively impact the global economy. When we have an effective vaccine, we must also use it effectively. In time, as production increases, we want all people everywhere to have access to vaccines. But initially, when supply is limited, priority must be given to vaccinating essential workers and those most at risk, including older people and those with underlying conditions. Last month, the Russian leader Vladimir Putin said that a vaccine developed by Russian scientists had passed all the required checks and that one of his own daughters had undergone the test. But there is yet a globally approved vaccine for the novel coronavirus. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Ibrahim John. The world intensifies efforts to find a lasting solution against the COVID-19 global pandemic.